Thank you, everybody. All right, so I am Ali Sopin, and I am the forums programming manager for the amazing company Etsy. For those of you who clearly all of you know who <laughs> Etsy is, it is an amazing company to work for. And I am so incredibly happy, excited, and honored to be up on the CMX stage today. I'm actually a huge CMX fan. I watched the 2014 East Summit live stream uh, from the Etsy headquarters two years ago. And last year, I attended the 2015 East Summit, which was such a rewarding experience. Additionally, I love this venue. And in case you thought you were all partying, sitting down right now listening to me, this is actually all of Etsy partying exactly where you guys are sitting because our holiday party was at Brooklyn Bowl last year. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be talking to you all about some of the amazing online and in-person programs that we have built at Etsy. While working at Etsy, I've truly learned the importance of connecting with your community both online as well as in person. And today, I want to inspire all of you in this room to connect with your community in ways that your company has never done before. So before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what Etsy is. So Etsy is a marketplace where people around the world connect both online and offline to make, sell, and buy unique goods. It was founded in 2005 in a Brooklyn apartment with the purpose of creating an online community where makers and crafters could sell their handmade items, their vintage goods, and their craft supplies. So like most companies, we have a mission statement and we have values both of which I know I try to consider every single day when I walk into the Etsy office. So our mission first, to reimagine commerce in ways that build a more fulfilling and lasting world. And our values, oh whoa, <laughs> that is not what it's supposed to look like, but I'll read them to you anyway. Our values are we are a mindful, transparent, and humane business. We plan and build for the long term. We value craftsmanship in all we make, and we believe fun should be a part of everything we do and we keep it real, always. So while you're letting those values sink in, it's also important to recognize that Etsy is a really, really unique kind of website. For those of you who have been on it before, you know that it's a really fun experience when you're on the website because it's so unique and when you're shopping on it, you're conversing and buying from real people every day. So for context, we have 1.6 million active sellers, 25 million active buyers, and over $2 billion in annual gross merchandise sales with over 35 million items for sale on our website. Additionally, we have 852 employees with nine offices in seven different countries. So together, the 1.6 million active sellers, the 25 million active buyers, and the 852 employees, which we refer to as Etsy admin, together all make up our Etsy community. And together, 800 plus employees support this community of entrepreneurs and their customers. So then why are these community programs that I'm gonna be sharing with you all today so valuable to us? Because our community is our product. Our buyers and sellers at Etsy make up the website. It would not be what it is today without our buyers and sellers. And I'm sure you all know there are plenty of online marketplaces, but people choose to come to Etsy because of the special relationship that they have with the buyers and sellers on our platform. So we started a lot of these different initiatives as a way for admin and sellers to interact on a more human level. And we found that when admin interacts with sellers both online as well as in person, they really understand all the hard work it takes to create, build, and maintain an Etsy shop. So we sent out a survey through our Community Connections program, which was anonymous, and this was one of the quotes that we received back from an Etsy admin. The more directly I interact with our sellers, the more satisfied I am with my job. The more I feel like the work I do is making a real difference in someone's life. So these are what our community spaces look like. We have the forums, which are always public to anyone with an Etsy account, and teams, which be, can be public or private. So teams are moderated by the sellers and the members in them, whereas our forums is moderated by an amazing forums team, and half of them are actually sitting in the back row today, so feel free to high five them. And yeah, they deserve all the applause also. <laughs> They're amazing. Uh, so this is what our Etsy forums look like for those of you who have never seen it before. 
These forums have been around for pretty much the entire history of Etsy. The, uh, our last thread is dated back to 2005, so they're a space for members of the Etsy community to gather and discuss anything from selling and buying on Etsy to what, their name, what to name their new puppy or their new baby. So, for metrics, we have over 1,600 total members posting every single day, with an average of 163 of them being completely new members. We have almost 5,500 posts per day, with over half a million posts every single month. So that is a lot to moderate. Uh, so now that you have this brief overview of our forums and what Etsy is, let's move on to the different online engagement initiatives that we have put forth at Etsy. And as mentioned before, one of our number one goals in all aspects of community engagement is to provide a connection between our Etsy admin and our sellers. So in an effort to do so, we create engagement forum threads, which is when an Etsy admin starts a topic in the forums and then engages in a conversation with our members. So we do this because we have a lot of posts, as you saw, within a lot of different threads. And for those of you who may moderate an online community, you might know that it's really easy to sometimes get into the duties of a moderator and have your members just see you as a moderator. So we do these to connect on a more human level. And we do it so that people don't think we're just simply crazy evil moderators. And as you can see here, this is a thread that I started about sharing your favorite Halloween costume as a child. And as you can see, I included a link there, and I can't be a crazy evil moderator if I actually shared myself as a four-year-old Elmo in a public forum. <laughs> so, another initiative we do are forums weekend challenges. This is a monthly challenge, and my coworker and I actually started this last year because we got the idea from Alex Dow, who works for Vimeo and actually spoke at CMX last year. And it is, <laughs> it is a monthly challenge where members are able to vote and compete against one another with their listing photos from their Etsy shops. So we pick a theme, this one was an autumn edition, and then at the end of the weekend, the winners are announced. And this is the Sense of Humor Weekend Challenge winner. Um, and they don't win anything from it, but you can see they just have so much fun doing it. These are some of the comments that we receive, and every month it gets so much traffic, and our sellers genuinely love competing with one another, even if there's absolutely no prize. And not only do they love it, engaging with one another, but they actually learn really helpful tips and tricks from one another while having fun. So another thing we do are admin Q&As which is essentially an Ask Etsy Anything in our online forums. With a specific team, on a specific date and time, we always tell them when to come in, they can ask questions, and then that specific team comes in, introduces themselves, tells everyone a fun fact about them, and then answers as many questions as they can. And you can see here, these are some of the pictures that we've included once the Q&A is over, just to add more of a face-to-face uh, -face interaction between our sellers and for them to say, okay, robots weren't answering my questions for the last few hours. It was actual people. This is who has been in this thread answering my really important questions for the last few hours. So another Ask Etsy Anything type of thing we do are Etsy fireside chats. So our SVP, Heather Jassy, sits down with different directors, product managers, and even she sat down with our CEO, Chad Dickerson, to answer questions from our Etsy sellers. And our sellers are able to go on our Etsy social media pages and ask anything they want, and then they're answered very candidly on our YouTube channel. So last but not least for our online community, we send out physical gifts. So, th so this year's gift was an Etsy forums tote bag, and our sellers go crazy over tote bags, so this was an awesome gift for them to receive. And you know, we get a lot of conversations, good and bad, in our forums. And while we don't expect everyone to be pro Etsy all the time, we do want to thank those members who are encouraging good behavior by being constructive and being um, a good voice for everyone else in the forums. So you can see here on the left some of the really awesome comments that we've received from people who have received one of these forums tote bags. So now that we've gone over a bunch of online initiatives, I want to move on to the in-person programs that we have built at Etsy. And while working for a company that's essentially all internet-based, I've really learned the importance of connecting with your community, not just online, but in person as well. 
So first, we host an Etsy craft party, which is a celebration of meeting and making that takes place across the world on two common dates every year. So this started in 2010. It was launched by an Etsy admin, Julie Schneider, as essentially a day for Etsy sellers and lovers all around the world to celebrate community and their creativity together. So Julie would pick a theme and then a project that relates to that theme, and people from all over the world were doing the exact same project on the same exact date. So for example, last year the theme was paper takes shape. So you can see here, everyone was given two different sheets of paper, cut them into strips, and then basically basket weave them together. So people from Singapore to New York were doing the exact same craft uh, with their local Etsy communities. So some would be as small as three or 10 people with their groups of friends getting together to do a craft party. And some actually had lines of over 1,000 people getting, waiting to get into an Etsy craft party. And this is a picture from the port of LA where there were actually over 1,000 people waiting to get into an Etsy craft party. This is what our Instagram feed looked like. So people from all over were hashtagging craft party. And Julie, the creator of uh, the Etsy craft party, told me that she recalls waking up last year and seeing on her Instagram feed a picture of the Etsy craft party from Lithuania. So it's just really awesome that it occurs everywhere. And then for context, we hosted over 220 craft parties last year with an estimated three, almost 3,000 craft parties since this launched in 2010 and almost 38,000 estimated RSVPs since 2010. So this is a picture from the Etsy craft party in Brooklyn, which I actually was able to have the honor of volunteering at last year, which was super fun and so awesome getting to watch Etsy lovers and Etsy buyers all just collaborate together and do this one project. So we also host Etsy captain summits all around the world where we energize and thank our most active team captains. I actually just got back from the Australia team's captain two days ago and it was an awesome experience being able to be not just with, I'm always hanging out with New York sellers and this was so awesome to be in a completely different country because everyone's mission is exactly the same. They all care so much about their community and about the Etsy community. So we also host seller studio visits, which is another really great way to get useful feedback from our community. In 2013, a current Etsy admin, Bernadette Sweeney, tested a way to get feedback from our sellers in the homes where they make and create and sell from their Etsy shops. So the pilot program was a huge success, and we have now launched studio visits to every single city where we have an office. And this program really ensures that admin are listening to our community and making decisions that will help the long-term place of our marketplace as well as our seller's shops. So we all love our sellers, but not all of us really get the chance to get out of the office and see our sellers and actually interact with them on a deeper level. And doing these studio visits allows us to do so because when an admin visits a seller, they truly see all the hard work it takes to create and maintain and run an Etsy shop. And it gives us all a deeper understanding of the seller experience. Additionally, Etsy admin love going on studio visits, so this is what the sign-up sheet looked like five minutes before I sent it out, and this is what it looked like literally 10 minutes later. So people actually jump at the opportunity to attend a studio visit and meet with one of our sellers, which is awesome. Additionally, we allow and encourage any and every single Etsy admin to attend a studio visit. So last summer, I went on a studio visit and our CEO, Chad, came along, which was not only a really awesome experience for all the Etsy admin on that visit, but one, Tyler McBride, he sells from shop TM1985, it was a really cool experience for him as well and for Chad because Chad walked into the studio where his leather bag was made and got to actually meet in person with the actual person who made this bag, and for Tyler to be in the presence of the CEO of Etsy actually holding his bag, talking about how cool it was that there was a pocket for his iPhone. And so this is a story about Amy Elks. She is a seller from the Pen and Brush, and when we visited Amy, I asked her, what do you say when people ask you what you do for a living? And she said to me that she panics. So we basically said, you should call yourself a business owner. That is what you are. You do all the necessary requirements to call yourself a business owner. Be confident. So she said, OK. And then a few hours later, we, we left. And uh, I got this email. And it said, your questions were all so pertinent. Got right to the heart of what it's like to be an Etsy seller. You demonstrated a genuine concern and eagerness to know more. 
which was very encouraging and reminded me that there's a whole Etsy community there to look to for support. Thanks to your visit, I will be going forward with renewed enthusiasm and confidence as a business owner. So we, you know, we celebrated struggles, uh, triumphs, we heard struggles like Amy's, and we celebrated birthdays uh, with our sellers. And after constantly going on these visits, we started to really get a deep connection with our sellers, and I realized these sellers are constantly inviting us into their home. We should be inviting them into our home as well. So after we celebrated Jason's birthday with him, we invited him and his wife Sophie to the office for Eatsy, which is a locally sourced catered meal that we have the pleasure of enjoying in the office twice a week. So they came in, they got to enjoy Eatsy with us, they walked around the office, they ran into Chad, our CEO, who was more than willing to chat with them about selling on Etsy. And thus, Eatsy with Sellers was launched. And we now invite two sellers every single month to come to Eatsy, and it is an awesome program because for those who aren't able to get out of the office to leave to go on a studio visit, they're still able to connect with our sellers on a deeper level. So here's some examples. That's us with Freddie. He's a leathersmith on the left in his leather studio. And then there he is again in the Etsy um, office, in the Etsy office, enjoying Etsy with a bunch of admin. And then on the left, us with Alvina. She's in the middle. She makes baby crib sheets. And on the right, her and her husband, you can see in the back, came in to enjoy an Etsy with admin. And this is one of my favorite stories. This is Delia Langen. She sells jewelry out of her Brooklyn studio. So when we asked Delia how she, her parents feel about the fact that she's a full-time Etsy seller, she said that she, you know, her mom doesn't love the fact that she eats dinner alone and lunch alone. So naturally, we of course invited her to Etsy. We got a selfie stick, and we took a picture in the Etsy headquarters and texted it to her mom and said, not only is Delia eating in the Etsy headquarters, but she's eating with 15 admin, and she is welcome back anytime that she wants. So this is a quote from Jason Shen, who is a product manager on the seller experience team. So his team has the power to make changes and really listen to what our sellers want. And he said to me, through the Etsy with Sellers program, I've been able to connect with sellers from all over and sell anything from greeting cards to active wear to jewelry. These conversations really inform our team's product decisions and allow us to design better and more effective experiences for our community. And this is a quote from Jennifer Y. She is a jewelry seller on Etsy. After she attended an Etsy, she sent me this email that said, Etsy really felt like being at someone's, someone's elegant house party, cool, fun, and brimming with creativity. The homemade chili served that day was delicious. The visit really made me feel like I was truly part of a community behind the website that actually cared about what I do as an artist. And that is why we do these. So in doing all these in in-person type of gatherings as well as online initiatives, we gain, obtain really valuable market research on site usability as well as a better understanding of the internal tools we use and we create to support our members. We also gain a deeper understanding of the relationship between our makers and our buyers on Etsy. And we get a much better insight into the pain points that our members have when selling and buying on Etsy. And we get to really understand and help them with those pain points. We work hard at our desks every single day in the Etsy office so that people like you just saw can quit their day jobs and potentially work for themselves, and potentially even hire other employees. We're constantly driven by our values at Etsy and we are fueled by this common purpose. And we are all extremely connected to community, as you could see. So between the online engagement and the in-person program, that's just all really fun ways for admin to connect with sellers, for admin to connect with admin, and for sellers to connect with sellers. And these initiatives every single day give admin the opportunity to bring our values to life every day and change the world of e-commerce together. So now I want you all to think about your specific communities and your specific companies. Maybe something I said with you in the presentation clicked with you, and you thought, hmm, maybe if I change that around, that would work great for our community, just like we did with Vimeo's idea of a weekend challenge. So I want you to just think of fun and new and exciting ideas to walk away with today to bring back to your community. So think about what will make people want to be a part of your community? And think about why are they here in your community and why should you care? Start brainstorming some ideas that may work for your company. And here are just some really simple starting points that you can go off of. Plan a meetup. Video chat with your members. Connect on this human level. So 
also think about how can you encourage collaboration with the members of your team and motivate your teammates to be active in creating these new community programs. What will make people feel individually appreciated? You know, when I visited sellers in Australia last week, they said, you have over a million sellers and you came all the way from New York and you're visiting me here in Australia. And I said, yeah, we are, because that's what's important to us. Even though we have over a million and it might take us years to hit that one million mark to make everyone feel special, we really try to do so every single day. Because when your community is investing their time, their heart, their soul, their money, they don't always want something physical, like a cash or even products. They want a connection, you want a community. Thank you very much. <laughs>